Gather round everyone and I'm going to tell you a story. It's set in a long lost faraway land called the 1990s. Now back in the 90s Australia had an American style chain restaurant called Sizzler and it quickly became very very popular mainly because of its all you can eat salad bar and its all you can eat dessert bar. But there was something else about Sizzler that seemed to unite people because it was one of those rare and unusual things that really shouldn't make something so super popular but it was one thing that made everybody talk. And that's of course Sizzler's iconic cheesy bread. Now how it worked was that Sizzler would bring around all these plates of beautifully pan fried cheesy bread to your table at an alarming frequency mainly because they wanted you to fill up on the bread so you wouldn't eat the expensive stuff on the all you can eat bars and for the most part that actually worked really well it was a marketing genius ploy but all good things must come to an end and as the 90s started to disappear so did Sizzler it became sort of less popular people wanted more exciting flavors and exotic dishes which Sizzler simply didn't provide so about a week and a half ago Sizzler announced the last three remaining restaurants in Australia would be closing their doors for the last time and I think that's really sad because after over 30 years in the business they really did leave their mark on Australian food culture. So I wanted to celebrate the good things about Sizzler and that is of course their beautiful cheesy bread and I thought today I would recreate it so you guys can try it at home anytime you want. Let's make Sizzler's iconic cheesy bread on the One Pot Chef. Sizzler's iconic cheesy bread. This is a wonderful recipe. It's so simple to make because there's really only about three ingredients and there's not really a lot of complication to this one. So first things first, we don't have specific measurements for our cheesy butter mixture which we're going to be spreading on our bread. It's basically a ratio. So we're going to put the same amount of butter as we are the same amount of powdered parmesan cheese. Now this is that stinky smelly powdered cheese that you put on spaghetti bolognese and such things. I'm going with half a cup of each because I think that'll be just about enough for the amount of bread I'm going to be doing. So I've got some soft room temperature butter so you can see how nice and soft and squidgy that is. It'll make it easier to mix everything together. You don't have to use butter. You can use margarine instead if you prefer or if that's all you happen to have in the fridge. But either way we want half and half of each. So we're going to add a little bit of the cheese in first and then we're just going to carefully mix that in, add a bit more cheese, add a bit more, mix it in until it's completely integrated into our butter. Now if you wanted to take this to the next level you could at this point stir in a little bit of minced garlic, maybe about half a teaspoon and mix that through and you'll end up with cheesy garlic bread which will be absolutely gorgeous but I think it's a bit much. I think you're competing too many too big flavors there garlic and parmesan so I think the original version is perfectly acceptable. Right that's mixed in so we're going to set this aside while we work on our bread. For our bread I went out and got a loaf of unsliced regular white sandwich bread and I cut it up into nice thick slices about one inch or about two centimeters thick. I did them thick because that's the way Sizzler used to serve the cheesy bread back in the day. It was nice thick slices but if you've just got regular already sliced sandwich bread you can do that but I recommend using as thick a slice as possible because just the normal sliced sandwich bread even after toasting can be a little floppy but nice thick chunky pieces like this will sort of hold their shape and their firmness and they're really good for dunking into sauce and things if you're having say like pasta for dinner with it. Right now all we have to do now is take our butter mixture and we're just going to generously spread it over each slice. Looking good there's just enough butter mixture for that getting a nice thick coating on each one and we are ready to start pan frying these up. Now the next step is to pan fry each of our slices of cheesy bread. Now 
If you are doing a big batch like me, you might want to go for a large fry pan, a griddle pan, or if you have it, one of those large electric fry pans or banquet fryers, simply because you'll be able to do more pieces more quickly. You could do like four or five slices at once. But just for the sake of the video, I'm just going to show you how to do one at a time in a regular fry pan. So I've got the fry pan over medium heat, and I'm just going to drop one of our slices of a cheesy bread into the pan like so. Just give it a light press down. And we're just going to allow that to cook without touching it for about a minute to a minute and a half. And what's going to happen is that butter and cheese mixture is going to start to slowly melt and toast and absorb into the bread. While I duck away to fry up the rest of the cheesy bread, I thought I'd take this opportunity to remind you to check out my social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links in the video description underneath this video on YouTube. And speaking of YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell next to it. That way you won't miss out on any of my new videos. And we're just going to flip this over. I'm just going to use my spatula to try and do this carefully. And oh yeah, that's looking good. We're just going to toast that unbuttered side for about maybe 30 seconds to a minute, just enough to give it a light toasting. You don't have to go too much on that one. And then all we got to do is fry up the rest. And here we have our completed Sizzler's iconic cheesy bread looking absolutely gorgeous. The whole kitchen smells beautifully cheesy and buttery. I can't wait to dive in and have a taste. This is absolutely incredible. It smells amazing. I can't wait to have a good bite of this. All right, let's go. Mmm. That's so yummy. Mmm. <laughs> Just one bite and the memories just come flooding back. I can remember the first time I tried this cheesy bread at a Sizzler restaurant back in the early 90s. And honestly, it was one of my favourite things about going to Sizzler. It's got that beautiful crispness on the outside, the beautiful buttery, cheesy mixture. It's really, really good. And it's great for a variety of meals. You can have it with soup, you can have it with salad, you can dip it in your sauce when you're having a pasta dish. Absolutely amazing. Well, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at onepotchefshow.com. And until next time, see you later. Sizzler may be gone, but it will definitely not be forgotten. So I wanted to ask you guys who remember Sizzler from back in the day, let me know in the comments section, what was your favorite dish at Sizzler? Was it the all you can eat Sunday bar or the desserts? Maybe something from the salad bar or maybe one of their iconic steaks? Let me know. I'd love to hear your favourites because it will sort of bring those memories back to me of when I went there back in the 90s. I didn't go there very often, only a few times when I was a child, but I still remember certain aspects of it and it would be great to have those memories come flooding back.